good. Streams are set up, connected, and running. Y'all ready for some D and D? I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah! All right. Everybody's camera. Where did everyone's camera go? Okay. My but, camera's still live. Okay, yeah. So. Oh, okay, the only the only one that Mine's doesn't. Yeah, we know yours is going to be a little screwy tonight. Yeah, because I lost my phone in Orono, and all I have left yeah. is my laptop. Last time I tried using my laptop, I had to go to my phone. That's weird, but I get it. Go ahead and start it up. Okay, so last time here with Dungeons and Devil Fruits, One Piece D and D, the crew had recruited a little orphan boy named Rory to go and find some work, get some uh, intel, you know, get y'all ready to start with your claiming the heads of these two pirate lords, some infiltration information, something along those lines. You know, get you guys away in via supplies and whatnot. Right. You're all planning. You had... You discovered the short uh, Totanda uh, tribe people running around the market, causing chaos, lighting fires, destroying stalls. Uh, general a ruckus that you guys had to kind of uh, subvert and ma manage. And in uh, all that chaos, y'all managed to capture one of these guys, a little uh, Totanda uh, guy named Darius. And towards the end, we left off with you guys finding Rory tied up and captured by some of the zoo pirates. And Cat, we no. were uh, running up to meet them. Yes. And as always with uh, our crew here, we have. Well, we have Aki. Uh, we have Micah playing Aki Sue Blackburn, the captain. We have uh, Siana playing the shipwright uh, Chibiusa. We have Sam playing uh, Tonga Wirio. I, the chef, of course. Sorry. I'm just. You bring my cat. Oh, yes. Gotta feature the cats. Always gotta. And then. My, do my cat sized yeah. dog is in the other room. <laughs> Your cat sized dog, yes. And we have. We have Coda playing uh, Snyder, the medic. And then finally, our uh, our musician, our bard, is Ring playing our Calgore. Yes, I, I'm still trying to get the name right. Okay, it's think of California, but instead of California, it's Caligore. Oh, Caligore. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll get it one of these days. Oh, don't even get me started on that. Going to California, random roving bitches, right, driving around in gangs, melting popsicles. That place is hot enough without people melting the only thing that makes your day nice and cool. What? Vicious. If I have, if I have, a, if I have a lived in Los Angeles, I'd find. Some work where I could just stay at home in my air conditioning. So, um, I believe as we were running up, uh, Chibiusa was climbing the cliff while me and Niner, I think, were no, me. No, it was me and uh, uh me and sorry, Calibre. me and you. No, it was me and you because I remember, oh, I remember looking we're up coming up the road, I think. Right? I had I had transformed into a horse in Tonga jumped on my right, back. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, we're running full up to meet them. So uh what's the what's the scene looking like? How many do we see? Okay, so last I checked we had uh Chibiusa kinda of like a because she was able to scale the cliffside rather easily and get ahead of everybody. But oh. you Chibi, uh, you see looking uh onto this uh, kind of like grassy uh, area in front of you, uh, just from the side of the cliff. About a dozen or so uh, pirates with these kind of fuzzy uh, cowls 
like they cover up their part of their shoulders, like half of their chest and like kind of end up into like various animalistic hoods. So like a, some kind of like have a boar look to them. Others have more of like a tiger or cat kind of vibe uh, and just a variety of uh, animalistic things. Almost as if uh, you how you would expect a bunch of uh, poorly financed uh, humans to try to emulate uh, your kinsmen. And then amongst uh, all these uh, strangely dressed pirates, you notice a rather a rather large man, very, very pear shaped, really. And unlike the rest, it seems like. It's not a, a cowl in his, uh, for him, like it's actual fur. Uh, make a, uh, make a uh, intelligence check. Well, history, I guess. Or, well, either history or uh, nature. First roll of the night. Dippy sip. Gotta stay hydrated. Jen. I I could not hear you. Hmm? No. It sounds like you're. You sound far away. Hello. There we go. Okay. There we oh, go. I got a ten. For okay. History. All right. Well. I'll say since that you're a mink, you you def you definitely uh, know that this seems to be some kind of uh, he seems to be some kind of beaver man. Beaver. So he's yeah. also a mink. Um, you you look at him, uh, and it seems that he has like kind of a hybridish uh, look about him, like not ex. <laughs> Certainly not a mink, from what you can tell. <laughs> All right. What do you guys do? How far away are they from me on the top of the cliff? I'd say about uh, 35 feet away from you. Uh, you see uh, okay. the the larger man, the, the, the beaver dude. He's mm -hmm. kind of uh, like sitting down on top of a crate. As and has a in front of him these two guys holding a child tied up, and upon closer inspection, you see uh, the red-haired uh, form of Rory. How many? So, how many of them are there? Like that, we can see in total. You can let's see. Uh, Chibiusa would be able to see this. So you see. A dozen regular guys and the one beaver dude, so 13 in total. Am I close and enough to hear them? How, how far behind her are, will we be? Let's see. Well, I, you're in a completely different part of the cliff. Oh, okay. Gotcha. No, you could try to convey things. That, however you guys want to go about it. Can I well, hear I mean, them talking? I gave you a transponder sound, right? You did um, not. Actually, uh, make a perception check with advantage because of your keen senses. Okay. Advantageous. Oh, well. Oh. That's the eight. <laughs> oh. <coughs> uh, you can hear like uh, some kind of it, it's really difficult for you to hear, but mm. they seem to be kind of berating and questioning the child. You can't really make out but you also hear uh, as the uh, as the beaver man look, talks to one of uh, his subordinates, kind of smacks him upside of the head, uh, and you hear a loud <laughs> Does Rory look scared? Uh, Rory looks terrified. All right. Mm. Why don't you send uh, Darius to sneak and untie Rory? Mm. How open is this top of the cliff? Like, compared to Darius or my little guy, how tall is the grass? 
It's, uh, you know, it's not too tall. It, it seems to be rather decently well kept since there is a uh, lighthouse about 25 feet away from you. Mm-hmm. Is it tall enough to hide dairies? Well, the grass? Not yeah. ne not necessarily, although Darius is kind of hard to see to begin with, with how fast he moves. Wait. Given his gonna, size like, and speed, I'd say he definitely has advantage on stealth checks. I'm going to whisper to him, uh, do you think you could go over there and see what they're talking about? He, he kind of like looks up to you uh, for a moment. It's like, um, let's see, uh... I, I I can try. And he just kind of like jumps off and just starts scuttling on over. And and as you see him go off, it's just almost like a blur that uh, like zipping from one uh, particularly fluffy uh, part of gra piece of grass to another. Just like kind of like. I'm oh, going to give him a roll, roll here. Good thing I had my dice on hand. Nice. All right. So, yeah, he manages to get up close and uh, comes up behind the crate in which the beaver man is sitting on. Is there anything else that you guys want to do in the meantime? How um, tall is this cliff? We're not there yet, right? Huh? Yeah, we are. That's no, you right guys there. are walking up the cliff. You're, you're still we're running. Away. We're not walking. Oh. Yeah, we're like. Um, I thought we were at the bottom of the cliff. No, bro. Yeah, well, you're like running, I'm running up, up the, the cliff. cliff. Yeah, I'm running up the mountain. My question on the is: Is it? Am I able to reach the top of this cliff just by reaching? <laughs> um, How not just do you by. Think you are? <laughs> I will say that for Akisu, it's not as much of a climb as it would be for the others. Reaching to the top? That's crazy. <laughs> Reaching to the top? No, like you're only like 12 feet tall. So it's like. I didn't know how big this cliff was. There's small cliffs. I, I believe last oh, session I stated it to be about 80 feet. That was also two weeks ago. Yeah. The, yeah. This is true. <laughs> Yeah, so... You did say about five stories. Yes. Yeah, at a full sprint on horseback, like, how... I'm saying, like, how long is it going to take us to get there compared to Chibi? Like... Uh, you were only falling just a little bit behind uh, Chibi. Yeah. So, so like, because... I mean, we're by the time... to initiate combat, like, the second yeah. we get there. Yeah, so by the time uh, she's already sent Darius out, you're just, like, coming up uh, right next to her. As I as I run up, I'm gonna yell to Rory. I'm gonna you know survey the scene. I'm gonna you immediately yell. Like, <laughs> he's, he's gonna yell. <laughs> Excuse me. My character would yell. Yeah. <laughs> it's what my character would do. All right. Like, oh. You know. And then I would like get all their attention. I would like you know identify the boss, point him out, and like what's going on here. <laughs> All right, all right. You're like, fuck the plan. Yeah, I want to make an intimidation <laughs> check just to, you know, to on approach, just to be like, what's going on? You and have this my point, boy. He have jumped off yeah. my back already, and I'm back in human form. All right, all right. I feel like this would also be no, no, a good place back. to reveal my character's <laughs> devil fruit to the party. <laughs> it would be. I don't think I did. Uh, oh, Calgary. you. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Because I have the... Wait, uh, am I the only fruit. double fruit user? No, no. I, I, I'm another one. <laughs> I just haven't revealed it in-game. I don't even know it. As far as I game, know, Mondays, does. I don't start work until like 10. Anyway, so, what you gonna yeah, do? I'm sleeping until like 8.30. Okay, so... You turn Dude. into a, a human again, and and Tonga shouts out. Uh, what do you shout, Tonga? I go, "Hey, what's going on here?" I run look to Rory, and I point out to the, the boss figure, and I'm like, "You heard him." 
and I'm going to hurt you. Uh, okay, as you say that, uh, the 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 crew of uh, pirates right there, they, they kind of like, one of them just kind of like jolts. It's like, what? And then uh, they all collectively turn towards you. And the beaver man is just kind of taken aback. He's like, kind of like squints at you, almost like trying to remember if he's uh, seen you before. And he just kind of steps to the front of them. Uh, just a bit of a waddle as he does so in his uh, strange, like uh, kind of like half human, half uh, beaver form, dragging this massive tail behind him. I make an intimidation You can try it. With my, yeah, I took two. My feature. I didn't like it, so have it back. All right. So, uh, how do, how do you want to try to intimidate him? I mean, just with like that, that, you know, shouting that out to him with the approach on horseback, like like flare my you know flare my lights. All right. Uh, make an intimidation check. I believe with this. I'm gonna yell, I'm yeah, I'm Tengen. Tenga. Tenga? <laughs> no, <that's> just... <laughs> <laughs> it, canonically, Akisu is still learning his name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. 14. <laughs> that's a good roll. Damn. He's just kind of like, as he's about to take another step. He just pauses for a moment, kind of like tilts his head and like kind of shifts his stance backwards a little bit. He's not really sure what to make of you from from the expression on his face. It's like and he looks around into his uh, people. It's like, oh, well, maybe we could talk. This boy works for you. As he says that, uh, my my chest is gonna like flare up. There's like a kind of passes over the area. I'm gonna cast Mage Armor. <laughs> all right, all right. And that'll you last you for like, about eight hours. Yeah, you watch it like the the black stripes on my chest begin to glow like a dark blue. Okay, so your your Mage Armor just kind of like a. Uh, Form is like a kind of a fishy just forms over you. Well, just like my, my bioluminescent light. Ah, okay. Mm. I like that. That sounds really cool. So he, he and, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll be like the only talking will do. Is where I tell you to let him go, and you do it. I'm gonna stand behind him and just like pull my slingshot out, just stand there menacingly. Yeah, I'm gonna draw one of my swords, one of my swords. In, in uh, case he wasn't al already intimidated enough by this <laughs> uh, fish man glowing menacingly out of nowhere from horseback, a giant woman just kind of crawls <laughs> up the cliff and off the side. <laughs> It's like, uh, it's like you just see this pink-haired woman cresting the hill. I know, like, I'm gonna very deliberately like not even acknowledge. The like, all right. So he's just kind of like looking to his people, trying to assess the situation. Well, you can have him when we're done. You see, he stole some stuff of ours, and we. I suppose we can let him go. We were looking for who he was working for. The boy works for whoever is paying. Well, he was, he was rather tight-lipped about it. You have yourself a good employee. Well, I'd hope so. We're... Question, is it still light out, or is it starting to... Like, become darker. It's still light out. Okay. I'd say it's about like a four thirty in the afternoon. What is what? What can I make an inside check? What's the vibe that I'm getting? All right. Uh, try and read the situation. Oh, okay. yeah. uh, give me a roll. I'm getting this guy. Like, you're trying to read him. 
Yeah. All right. It's like. Yeah, it is 12. Okay. But you no know bonuses? Um, I don't have proficiency on insight. Yeah, do you have any wisdom? Oh, yeah. So plus 214. Okay, that's what I thought. So with a 14, uh, you kind of look him over, and he, he seems visibly shaken, but it, it also doesn't seem like he's about to give up so easily. Like, his crew is slowly kind of circling around oh. into a bit of a semicircle. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna kind of look at uh, look at Akisu. Uh, I assume Chibi says like going over the edge too. Like, I'm yeah. I'm gonna look to Can't hear you. It, it seems like he generally what? wants to kind of talk. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't want to make the first like attack action. So I'm just gonna kind of wait to see any of him or see, like if he or move. yeah yeah it's gonna kind of like holds an action and i'm just gonna kind of go what do you want i i want to know why such a large shipment of our alcohol was taken and i'd like to know to where i want to raise an eyebrow I'm just behind the tree, just whistling like, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> the thing is, I know you went back to your uh, humanoid form, but I just picture a horse behind the tree just <laughs> whistling. Like, <"Ooh." laughs> I mean, I I'm just going to look at him. I'm going to raise an eyebrow at him and say, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm going to look to Rory. I don't think the boy does either. Should leave him out of this. He looks over. He's like, you know, maybe you're right. However, we were all children once. Sooner or later, you gotta learn. Tell you what, we won't kill him. We'll take his hand and call it a day. Oh, really? And what are you prepared to offer in exchange? Your life. It, he raises an eyebrow. Oh, you, you're a very interesting one. But perhaps you don't understand the gravity of the situation. And he just kind of like kind of starts puffing out his chest like a little bit. Like he throws his shoulders back. Kind of like tilts his head up. Uh -huh. Like it seems like he's trying to regain control of the situation. Okay, <laughs> right, right. He's peacocking a little bit. And uh, he kind of like looks to his uh, men. Fishman, do you know who we are? Do I? You re you recognize the. Uh, the garb of the average crew member there to be that of the zoo pirates that you've seen around town. Okay. Are they, are they like, would I personally be threatened by them? I don't know. Would you? I mean, the zoo, I mean, like, are, are they one of like the big factions that we're going after? Yes. Okay. okay. The, the two major, uh, play big player, uh, pirate crews on the island are the uh, time in par pirates and the zoo pirates. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to look to, to, you know, the crew that we have slowly massing around his group of men. I'm going to kind of look to them. I'm going to look back to the, the beaver man. I'm going to say, I'll stand firm in what I say. You can you take whatever us. price you want. But no, we will take ours. We will defend who is our person. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I'm trying yeah. to hold back the laughter. <laughs> you see a slight smirk. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold back laughter. I'm just gonna laugh. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look back to this guy's man and say, "So, make your move, Beaver." <laughs> Fucking fuck you, you, bitch. You not know who I am. And please enlighten me, because for sure I haven't really seen the the likes of your little party here around really anywhere. We're not much for fishmen in these parts. Are you going to kind of smirk at him? You will. You'll learn of us in time. I look, o I look over at Tonga and just give him a nod, as in keep it going. So I start sneaking around to the left side of the group while he's in front of it and just wait for his signal. As from, you, my, from my yeah. perspective of this conversation, like... Have the have they noticed you know our people slowly coming up? Well, they notice me. <laughs> or, yeah, or do yeah. we have like their main attention? The I have the, a question too. Yes. What's um, the question? So I don't know, like the dynamics of this cliff, but is it like yeah. like that? So like, could I go around? Because if I climb to the top, could I go like around to be closer to this group? You know what? Um, you're do on. You I, I I do have a map, but I just kind of like screwed up with like placement and everything. Like but... a more pointy cliff or a more like yeah. flat plateau. Yeah, that's cliff. what I'm trying to go. If I can go to here, the let side, me uh, just set that. Okay. You'll have to zoom out a little bit. Uh, the like placing tokens on it, I kind of screwed that up. I do not own any token vision. That shit just black. Oh, oh, yeah. that, that's my bad. Around. That's my bad. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me fix that. I'm still getting used to uh, using Foundry. I'm going to oh, lighting. Yeah, those are, those are cursors, I think. I've got a bunch of dots just moving around. <laughs> All right, let's see. Global illumination. Can you all see it now? Nope. Looks like there's no draw tool. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, I'm supposed to turn off the token vision. Oh. I see something. Yeah, do you see it now? I think so. Awesome. So, this is the cliff? Yeah. Uh, you guys are coming up from the north side of the map, so the top. Okay. And, and they're uh, in the middle. Yeah. And then okay. Tonga is right up here uh, towards the front near the tree in the path. And uh, Caligore was around the, said he was circling to the left from the tree. Okay. How long would it take me to get, like, right here? Can you see my mouse? I can not see your mouse, but... Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. Let me just, uh... Maybe I have to zoom... Ah, yeah. Now I see it. Like, over the water? Kind of above that underwater cave? Well, since you're at the edge... Mm -hmm. I'd say that you can probably... Let's see... I'm gonna like kind of like monkey bar um, across the side. With your climbing and a dash monkey. action, you could do that in about three or four turns. But honestly, if you got till about the back end, oh, cool! I can do the little pingy thing. If you got around that point, you could like climb up and dash around. Okay. Since I'm like where you pinged, uh, in this building, can I hear anyone inside? Uh, make a perception check as you uh, come up to the side of the building, try to listen. Okay. Oh. 
24. Nice. Hey. You you lean up and yeah, you kind of like a yeah. One of your bunny ears just kind of like perks right up and just uh, perfectly cups to the side of the wall. <laughs> and you you hear like a a a man and a a woman just kind of whispering to each other in kind of like hushed tones, like just it, it it's okay, hun. Well, once they're gone, things will be back to normal. Just. Just let them be. Does this building have windows? It does. Uh, you, Is there you, any in near the back? Uh, towards the back, you see a, a window about 10 feet to your right. I assume you okay, yeah, appro then... approach and peek in? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to sneak uh, up the cliff and then around the building and then try to peek through the window. Uh, yeah, you, you see a... Uh, elderly man uh, kind of hunched over that uh, in his about mid 60s from what you can tell with a uh, what looks to be his wife probably in the similar age bracket humans yes gray hair and the, and the whole lot oh didn't mean to ding that I'll just keep watching just kind of uh, watching the, the the humans inside, or just kind of like moving around to watch the uh, the enemy. I'll be watching the humans inside, but I will be listening for what is happening with the enemy. All right, so you can hear uh, the loud conversation between Tonga and the Beaver Man from around the side of the building, because like it's not exactly like they're trying to keep quiet or anything. And uh, in Caligore, you said you were going to uh, go around the left side, which is more towards yes. the actual lighthouse. Yes. So, uh, quick question. Them. While we're, like, talking to them and stuff, uh, and I'm, like, you know, you know, reading the situation, what what vibe am I getting, like, combat-wise from this man? Like, is he, like, a fighter? Does he seem to be, do I see any weapons on him? The only weapon you see on him is a uh, a small pistol. Okay. Uh, looking at him, you see the the his giant tail looks really kind of beefy. Yeah. And he has these claws, uh, for at the tips of each of his fingers, as beavers do. Mm -hmm. And just these massive, in, like the dagger length incisors. Right. Do I know anything about like his species or like his people? Like anything about like their customs or anything? Um, from uh, you could give me a check. Like a history or intelligence check or something. Uh, let's uh, say a uh, investigation. Investigation. You're not um, seven. <laughs> you're not too sure what to make of this man. He seems to be humanoid in nature, but not really this quite the same as uh, your mink friend. Maybe he's a type of mink. Not sure. Okay. You don't even oh. know what kind of animal uh, he's supposed to be. Oh, okay. But I, I get, probably get the hint of like <laughs> the beaver traits. But he's like some kind of weird hybrid. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, well, I mean, no one's making any moves, right? Like, it's not, not yet. So far. I'm, I'm just Where standing about... behind you, helping with intimidation. Yeah. Whereabouts uh, is Darius at this point? Oh, yeah. Where is Darius? Yeah. He, he was right behind a crate that the. A uh, beaver man was sitting on, so that'd be like right about here. Mm. So, uh, as we're kind of taking this moment, I guess I'm gonna look over to the beaver man and say, "So, you want to hire the boy or something?" Uh, hardly. Although that could be interesting. 
What do you propose? What do I propose? You're the one that has him tied up here for some purpose. Well, no proposition. This is purely interrogation. And what have you got? Yeah, what are you trying to gain? What are you trying to take? <laughs> like, <laughs> what, what are we trying to take? We have our booze for the party tonight stolen, and uh, the, the entire shipment, everything has gone awry, and our captain's going to be breathing down our neck, and you want to know what we want. Does it look like this boy has booze on him? Yeah. Oh. Does he smell of alcohol? <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to kind of chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, you accuse this boy of stealing. Where is your proof? Yeah. We caught him red-handed. He was working with two others. And where are these two others? Yeah. Why don't you have them tied up? Yeah, where are they? They got away. What did they work for? That's why we're asking the boy. But it seems... The situation has resolved itself. He tosses the the boy uh, next to, like, just, like, he picks him up by the back of his uh, shirt where he's, like, almost by, like, the ropes where he's tied up and just kind of, like, throws him to the side. And you just kind of, like, see him, like, tumble and just smack into the wall. We don't really need him at this point. Men? Attack. Everyone roll initiative. Just... All right. Everyone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bye. Everybody roll the Begin combat. Much better this time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You'd think I would have learned a thing or two by this point. Hey, she still got the highest roll. <laughs> right. Nat 20. Yeah. Right. Ready. Nice. Ooh. Okay, initiative is rolling. 28. Yeah, I was going to go 28, bro. She's definitely going first. And now I can get these guys in there. Holy. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> yep. Yikes, well, there's Rory in there. <laughs> <laughs> Rory's still tied up. I need to make a Rory token. Is like mm. he incapacitated or is he just like, uh, uh, what's it called? Knocked out. Uh, Prone? Yeah, is he unconscious or is he incapacitated? Uh, he is incapacitated. And being a 12 year old, I don't think he's in too much shape to fight, but who knows? We'll see where things go. Let's take a turn order. And like, you know, if I, attack I do like how the turn order looks all Baldur's Gate like, though. It very does. They don't have. Oh, you have rolled their initiates yet. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Exciting. I'm ready. Ready to brawl out. Oh, I see. So it it just took a it was lagging behind when it was uh, putting them in the order. Oh, that makes sense. You got a lot of lads. <laughs> it it is. It, it's a lot of guys. Oh, excuse me. They said we'll take his hand. I said we'll take some of your old guys' lives. <laughs> 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 So that's cool. You all try you all prepare for this trade? <laughs> Seems fair a hand for us all. Whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now it rolls them in. I love how oh. I did a little glass break. Yeah, I, I said that. I thought it was oh, fun. Damn. Damn. They all rolled like garbage. <laughs> Yeah, they're all gonna pack at once. Jesus Christ. 
One of them got a 19, one got a 16, one got a 12. Which one's the, the boss? Uh, the one that looked uh, with the little hoodie thing that's the default. Oh, that one? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, first up in initiative is Chibiusa. Can't hear you. Chibi's first in combat. No surprise. I'm going to try to lift the window, see if it's open. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is it? It's open. It's open. All right. I'm going to climb through. <laughs> <laughs> Easier to just go through a house. <laughs> nah. I'm assuming that the old man and lady are still in there. They're like, uh, uh, please just just go. Uh, we, we don't want any trouble. Are you aware of what's going on outside? Yes. Are you captives? Uh, it's a... You could put it that way. So close. Explain yourselves. Well, if we stay out of their way, they won't burn our home down. It's pretty cut and dry, really. And the wife just kind of like is kind of like... He just kind of like puts her behind him. Where's the front door to this place? Uh, he points towards the doorway. <laughs> He's like, uh, uh, right through there. It's right next to all of them, and, right? It just looks straight. I yes, it is. Do I have enough movement to get to here? Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, what's your movement speed again? Looks like 40 feet. Yeah. Okay, so 40 feet of movement will get you to the table. Okay. Uh, the other end of the table. Oh, okay. I'll stay there. Okay, so if, any actions that you want to use in the meantime, or like uh, anything you Was want to prepare? Was my action not going through the window? Uh, that's more like a bonus action, just like a, you're, you're taking the time to climb through it. Then can I just double my movement to get through the door? Yeah, you want to take a dash action to get to the door? Go right ahead. Yeah. I think you can use your, uh, your cunning action for your dash, too. This is also true. Either way. No, That's I, yeah, I think if you, if you use your bonus action to get through the window, I don't think you have the bonus action for your coming out. You know what? Uh, that... The window will be a free action just because, like, your that is your movement. So you will still have your, uh, yeah, bonus action for the uh, dash. Okay, what else do you want to do? That's it. All right. So you're just like lying in wait, ready to get that sneak attack off. I'm listening. All right. There is a tiny little window next to the uh, door, so you can kind of peek out a little bit and see what's going on. And then next up is, the, let's see, which one is he? You know, probably like an hour. Maybe hour. Oh, wasn't that one? I was messing with the settings earlier, and it had an announcer thing. <laughs> and he's going to use his dash action to get up uh, close to Calgore. Oh, well, Calgore. And, uh, Caligore, as you see this guy uh, coming up towards you, uh, he doesn't have any weapon drawn, just he's got these claws uh, that are attached to, like, these little paw-like gauntlets. And he's got kind of like a <clears throat> raccoon cowl going for him. Nice. Ah. I see. I'm gonna flay your wings, man! And that's the end of his turn. Oh. 
It's your turn. <laughs> That's going to get old really fucking quick. I'm going to change that <laughs> at the, after this session. I don't know. I kind of like it. I can <laughs> barely hear it. Your turn. If you guys... <laughs> Maybe it's only something you can hear on your end. It, it kind of sounds normal. like uh, something from WWE. Yeah, it's, it's like a Mortal Kombat thing. Like yeah. it's your turn. <laughs> I can't hear shit. So maybe it is just something on my end, and like <laughs> they just happen to be able to hear it through my mic. Okay, so yeah, maybe. the Beaver dude, he's still a little shaken from your interaction earlier. So he. Uh, takes a step back and also right. yes uh, yeah cool sounds <coughs> good and he just uh, looks to his uh, men like make short work of them <laughs> And then uh, that is his turn. Actually, no, he's going to take a little pot shot at Tonga. Okay. Uh, Tonga, what's your AC? 14. Yeah, it goes wide, and you're just like, kind of like look at him. Like, is he even aiming? It just like bounces <laughs> off my <like> chest. <this. laughs> yeah, I was you like, watch no. The, the glow. On my skin, kind of deflect it. <laughs> All right. And next up is Akisu. It will be your turn. It's me. What is my range on my slingshot? How do I tell that? Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. Uh, it's in your sheet, actually. You, but I do know that your slingshot should at least be able to get. Bare minimum to the beaver guy. Anybody uh, behind him is going to be with disadvantage, I think. Wait, okay. or, 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 or maybe you have a feat for that. I'm not sure. Hold on, let me, let me set. Giant slingshot. Plus four to hit. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know the range of the giant slingshot. I think it's like 40 and 80, right? Or is it 80 and 120? I, I think she took a feat to enhance it. So it's, it's in her inventory. Yeah. I'm trying lock to look on. Yeah, you have your lock on ability. That's not it. Um, yeah. Guide? Double profession checks. Gunsman? Okay. Yeah. Or your training, you know. Yeah, I'd say bare minimum you are able it'll I'll have to look at it afterwards, but bare minimum you got at least thirty feet that you can uh shoot accurately. How far away am I from the beaver guy? Uh he's about that far away. Okay. I want to It's a spell that I have, Hunter's Mark. Ah, that's a bonus action. Yeah, so I want to do that on the Beaver Man. Okay, okay. Uh, so I basically, uh, let's see. Until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon. Uh, yep, that's it. So this, this then man I'm is gonna marked. take a shot at him with my slingshot. Roll to hit. His AC's trash, so that won't be hard. <laughs> How do I roll to hit? I forgot. Well, we we know that it's a. The slingshot is uh, the giant slingshot's a D eight, so roll that. I mean, you roll your D twenty, add your modifier. I didn't have my dice out because I wanted to use the game dice. Hold on. We'll have to take a moment next uh, before next session to kind of iron out some of these kinks. 
So you said roll a d20? Yep. You can do slash roll 20. D20. Oh yeah, that is also a thing. In the chat. Yep. See? Slash r 1d20. It's on the bottom too, of the chat. Oh. And then just enter. This is true. Or roll. Or whatever. Oh, I did two of them. Here, I'll just do it again. Nice. Okay, so yeah, that definitely hits with your bonuses. Uh, by the way, next time uh, when you go into your inventory with your giant slingshot, if you click on it, uh, you'll get uh, some options underneath it. Uh, one of those is attack. Yeah, I thought I'm fixing oh, it. see. Here, I'll just do that. Then. Oh, and it also gives you the information. Uh, you have 30 foot range with 60 foot long range. Yeah, I'm fixing that right now. Where do you see that? Oh, uh, Sam's oh, I see fixing it. I see it. it. Yeah, I see it. It's just one of those things where you didn't enter it in uh, completely, so he said, giving it the touch up. But the, the oh, buttons were there. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Sam's the goat. <laughs> Action target creature. Okay, so roll yeah. for damage. Roll for damage. The the damage is a D eight. Yeah, that's the with the additional D8 from your mark, I believe, right? Or D6. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Hunter's mark is a D6, so D8 plus D6. That's 11 damage. That was 2 D8. Yeah. <laughs> D8, D6. Oh, oh yeah. my bad. Let me redo this. Yeah, so you roll the, the we'll damage keep the, your weapon. We'll keep the 6 from your higher... Oh. oh. That ended up being exactly the same. <laughs> it was meant to be. Uh, it was meant to be. Yeah, add your mod <laughs> your uh, your modifier to that. Modifier. Proficiency plus your dex, I believe. Oh no, that pro that's just a hit. Uh, add the dex to oh. uh, to that for damage. Right. That'd be plus two, so thirteen. 13 damage with your first attack. Wow. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Fucking Dolan. Fucking goaded. I'm not the captain for no reason. Fucking Soge King up in here. <laughs> <laughs> From Sniper <laughs> Island far away. <laughs> hey, I know what that is now. <laughs> you do. I'm getting there. Awesome, okay. awesome. Well, I already know what it is, but... That was your, action, your bonus action. Mike you explained it to me today. Yeah, we were ended up talking about it. Um, I don't have any more actions, but... Unless you want to I'm use your movement. Juicy. No, because I'm long range, so I'll stay back. Sounds good. It's your turn. <laughs> I, I, so. I heard it that time. <laughs> I, I, is that this guy? I think it's any time that a uh, that's the truth. An enemy his turn is oh, going. Wait a minute. Oh. Three, four, six. Okay, so he's gonna dash up to you. Me? Uh, yeah, he's dashing up to you, but that's his full turn. Okay. Oh. I look down at him and be like, hey, little man. Uh, uh, you're going down, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just, it, this guy just has like a bit of a kind of a a dogish kind of cowl going on for uh, his hood. I just uh, say, I could punt you. You might just end up doing that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so now it is Caligore. Caligor. 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 Get your head out of your ass and get to moving. She shouts this in character. <laughs> Give him the horse he horse cannon. The horse power. <laughs> Give him the horse horse power. Can y'all hear me? Uh, we do now. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Uh, what the hell? I don't know what was going on. Horse cock. Then your ass. Horse cock. Hello? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <sure. laughs> That pirate that came up to 
Yeah. Hello? We're breaking up. We're breaking up. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, no. It was the mariachi brand. <sighs> Them goddamn mariachi. Ah, there he is. Am I breaking up still? No, you're good. You're good. good. What you going to okay, do? Good. Caligore. Okay. I, the lackey who came up to me closest. It's really laggy. It is. How close is the pirate next to me? He's about oh, there we go. 10 feet. 10 feet? Yeah, there's like five feet, five feet between you two. Okay. So, I'm going to use my Burning Hands spell. Nice. Okay, and that has about 15 feet. If you position it, I think you can get the guy behind him. <laughs> well, that depends. How do you want to... Like, Burning Hands is a cone? I sh so you can get multiple people in that cone. 15 cone. Yes, that is true. Uh, I want to go back to right where I was. Okay. You said there's, I'm 10 feet away from that person? I, there's like five feet between you. Just out of curiosity. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, five feet, one one space. So, I'm going to move past him. Yeah, because you get the flight, so that's not really a, an issue. And the there, and that I believe is my 25 feet. Well, if you use your fly... Because otherwise you'd be provoking attack of opportunity from him. I have no idea what that means. Basically, an attack yeah, of opportunity yeah. is where, like, a, if you move out a range of a uh, enemy without disengaging, uh, or if something moves within your range without disengaging, the uh, character can use their reaction to attack. Even though it's not their turn. Okay, I'm, go I'm going back to where I was. <laughs> That's one, the bridge. There you go. I, I was about to say a bridge too far, bud. Um. Okay, so I'm just gonna move. You know, what? I'm not even gonna use that burning hands. I'm gonna go for full out knockout punch for this guy. All right. All right. Roll to hit. Oh. Uh, I forget. What do I roll for that? That'll be a d20 plus uh, your proficiency bonus and attack modifier. So. Um. Oh, was you're using strength? Yep, a strength. Yeah. What's your strength mod? Uh, plus two. Okay, so let me look at your sheet real quick. Let's see what you got going on here. For you said you're just wanting to punch him. Uh, do you have a? Oh, you got a rapier and a dagger, dude. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. You're you're a scald, because like a a typical punch with someone that doesn't have like a unarmed attack will t will yeah. be about uh, one damage plus uh, their strength modifier. Okay, never mind. I'm using my rapier. That that's what I thought. Because the, the rapier has a D eight plus uh plus your uh, modifier, so that'd be D eight plus two. 
Sweet. Which, uh, if you go to your inventory and you click on the rapier, uh, there'll be a little attack button that shows up under the little text. Yeah, I got it. Attack. Let's see. Um, see if it works. Normal? Uh, just... Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Nat one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The first big nat one of the night. Oh. Of the game, really. Really? Uh, yeah. You yeah. lunge forward towards this guy. And he just kind of like uh, n deflects it a little bit uh, with uh, his claws, like kind of like catching it and knocks it out of your hand. Well, she nice. is. And it just like kind of like it doesn't go flying off anywhere. You, it just the tip just sinks into the ground a little bit in front of you. So it's, a, it's just kind of like standing there like a pole. Like, <laughs> and you just kind of like look up to the guy and just like. A single moment between you two where it's like, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I, I just look at him, shrug, and say, oops. <laughs> you can use your bonus action to pick it back up. What you say? I don't, <laughs> just, I don't know where I go for the bonus action. Don't worry about that. It's just uh, you you have a few things for your each turn. You have it's your like action, bonus thing. action, free action, and movement. Okay, so for my bonus action, I'm going to use the spell Flame Blade. Flame Blade, okay. Uh, I am unfamiliar with Flame Blade. What does it do? Or can you click it and ping it in chat? Yeah, there we go. That. Did it work? Ah, thank you. It did twice. Okay, you have a you evoke a fiery blade in your free hand. The blade is similar in size and shape to a scimitar. It lasts for the duration. If you let go of the blade, it disappears. But you can you can evoke it again as a bonus action. Okay, okay. So you drop your rapier, and then you're just like, uh, ah ha. <laughs> flame sword. I meant to do that. I have you. I have another. <laughs> Huzzah! Uh, the guy is just that. Uh, he he had it was a little smug for a moment. And then he's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I didn't know he had two. <laughs> All right, so that'll be it for your turn. Sweet. That was great. That'll give. Me All right, Snyder. Your turn comes. <laughs> your turn comes. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna rush the dude that's in front of Caligore. Uh, with my spear. Okay. Uh, just roll. Uh, yeah, just just roll. E. Uh, roll for attack. I'm. We're just not. You having got a nine. Uh, for a total of. That that's the total nine. Yeah, that's like the total. Um, hold on. Plus two plus two. Well, let, let me look at this. Oh, yeah. I rolled a five roll first. I, and then I got a plus, plus four. Yeah. Well, you do have an uh, advantage because there is a... Because Calgore is right next to him. Oh, okay. Oh, plus yeah. Flight. Roll. Advantage. There we go. 
That's better. Okay, Wally, calm down. Roll for damage. Roll two. Uh, six. All right, you deal six damage to the dude. He's like, ah. Just like jab him in the fucking side. Just nah. <laughs> I uh, guess so. Uh, my main action. Yep. And then. Anything else? Um. I don't think so. All right. Moving on, we got another crew boy. Let's see if it will actually show me which... Oh, no. This is so annoying, because like it doesn't actually show me which one he is. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, this one's just going to fire a shot over at you after uh, seeing you uh, attack. So, boom, boom, boom. Roll. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, AC is 16. It does not hit. Yeah. You hear a loud gunshot uh, go off uh, from the direction of the beaver man. You, you look over and just kind of like, Duck down a little bit, and you just hear it whish through the air behind you. Uh, Tonga. Your uh, turn. Okay. I would like you to... Um, so you said there are... The beaver man's about 30 feet? Yeah. Okay. I would like to use my bonus action to cast Blur on myself. Okay. Uh, you want me to pop that in chat? Yeah, sure. Okay. Because I believe uh, Blur makes it so they have disadvantage on at attacking you. Correct. My body becomes blurred. So you watch as uh, I touch myself on the chest. Whoa, you didn't my... touch yourself? <laughs> yeah, I, put, I like, pat myself on the chest, and my light kind of envelops my whole body, and I become like a blurred out. Okay. And then I'm just gonna kind of I'm gonna like rush that. forward straight up to this man. Shoop. Shoopy doop. Shoop. Uh, weapons drawn. I'm gonna make uh, make my attack. All right. Roll to hit. Full flash. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's see here. Does that work? Oh, heck. That definitely hits. <laughs> All right, roll damage. Oh, I rolled the crit. Wait, no, it's a one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I crit with a d6 so one plus what like two i think is that your mod it's one okay. plus two plus one so three so four total okay so you take a swing at him and he just kind of like tries to block a little bit with uh, his forearm uh just out of reflex and you just kind of like uh Leave like a big old little gash right in his uh, forearm. It, it it feels a little weird as you kind of like uh, cut through like a like a resistance. No, you, you're assuming it's because of the uh, the nature of his beaver fur. I'm gonna kind of look him in the eyes. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm just gonna kind of just kind of smile in like my blurred shape. And you see, like, my teeth kind of shine through. Yeah, but it's, like, coming from, like, multiple angles. <laughs> I'm like a shadowed form just kind of shifting in this space. 
All right. And I guess uh, that's my movement, bonus action, my action. Now it's time for the horde. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> this is gonna... Here we go, guys. Here Probably we go. <laughs> so, here. Uh, it's your turn. Y yes, I, I just. It, it seems to center up on the one that is in the turn order. So, this guy comes up. Yeah, that's why I was like, give, my, give them disadvantage. I'm going right up to the front. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, and I guess I don't know where TB is, but uh, can she see me from where I am? Yeah, she's yeah, like inside I'm that directly. House. There's a window uh, right there. What's your AC? My AC? Yeah. Uh, Fourteen. Yeah, that misses completely. And he had advantage on that attack. So he goes, yeah. uh, takes a claw and goes and tries to swipe down at you. Uh, but as he does, like the, the blurry image that he swipes through, just like just, yeah, just not nothing doesn't connect. I'm thinking like kind of just given like the displacer beast effect. <laughs> Ooh, the, the guy immediately next to you seeing that follows up and that's a crit. So let's see here. With the disadvantage? Yes. Oh wait. Oh. Oh wait, no. Uh, no. Yeah, disadvantage required. You're you're right. You're right. That actually undoes it. So it's a it's a hit, not a crit. Can I use my reaction? Uh, what do you have for reactions? I have I have a few options here. Uh, which one hit me? Just a normal guy. Yeah, that's just a normal dude. I want to I want to retaliate with the hellish rebuke. But <laughs> uh, how how are you flavoring this hellish rebuke? What does he hit me with? Well, it just claws. Okay, so just a claw attack. I'm going to go and pop this in chat real quick. Why does he have claws? What the hell? They all have these little furry claw gauntlets. They're furry. Oh, cuz they're part of those blue pirates. He yeah. strikes me. I want my my light to kind of dance up to his body and just kind of burst into a bright flame. Okay. And he has to make a deck save. Like, like make contact with my, my light and it just kind of like coats his body. <laughs> okay, so he fails the deck save outright. That's a two. <laughs> That's 2d10 fire damage. Ooh. <laughs> Roll for damages. Yeah. How do I do a slash roll two D ten? Oh, try and do it the fancy way. Looks like a nine. Nine points of fire damage? Yeah, nine points of fire damage. Nice. And actually, let me double check something. NPC. Yeah, this guy is severely burned and upon seeing that he immediately tries to run away nice, nice. fuck this is <laughs> fuck this vice captain I'm getting out of here yeah you better run <laughs> I gotta. There goes my reaction. I gotta mark <laughs> this guy. Oh. So his HP is down to two. Hey, oh wait, no. Like that is my go-to. Okay. It's not. It's not. Yeah, oh, show me where this guy. Is. Oh. This one uh, rushes up to try to take his place. Oh. And disadvantage because of blur. Yeah, that's a miss. He swipes at you. Doesn't connect, just like the that first initial dude. Ugh, what, stay what still! Heard at that time. Yes. 
Uh, this guy yeah. is just kind of like rushing around. <laughs> Getting swarmed. Misses. Oh, <laughs> Akisu, you see all these guys crowding Tonga and they're trying to get their hits in, but like missing profusely left and right. How do you feel about your newly recruited uh, crew member? I am so exhilarated that I'm just like stomping around and being like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You see a one dude burst in the color. Okay. I get those, you know how when a Luffy gets those like, like star my, my, eyes when like, he sees something really like cool? Napalm. Like, <laughs> This guy sees that you they're dealing how... with him, so he's going to take a, a shot at uh, Snyder. And Snyder, what's your AC? Uh, 16. Uh, that's a definite miss. Oh. <laughs> it really is a horde over here. <laughs> it's okay. Now they all clumped up. I got, I got a plan. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It, this one also misses a pot shot at Snyder. They're going to be mad when I use Thunder and Smite and slap <laughs> all of them back. <laughs> <laughs> is Thunder and Smite an AoE? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think so. Well, I think. Oh, no, I think it knocks one person back. Ah, uh, this guy is right next to you, so boom. boom. Yeah, push oh. 10 feet away from you now. Uh, yeah, and you said your AC is 14. Uh, that this guy comes close. Like you could feel the claw, like kind of like scrat, like touching your skin as you move out of the the way through the blur. And you're just like, huh? Real close. I'm like you almost got me that time. It's your turn. It's your turn. <laughs> this Wait, one is think? also rushing Akisu. And Akisu, what's oh, your AC? Um, um, 12. Yeah. Okay, so that does hit for two damage. So wow. he, he goes for it and he just like kind of like puts like a scratch at, on your thigh and like kind of like um, kind of clips the skirt a little bit. You can't quite not reach. my skirt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I have like any reactions. Like, uh, it like should be uh, in your features or your spells or anything. You have a bonus action. Oh, yeah, you don't have any. Yeah. This one's uh, yeah. gonna take a shot at Snyder and misses. <laughs> These dudes are terrible at their job, and there is actually a canon <laughs> reason for that. But next is Chibi. You are next. Is this window openable? No, it's just like a little little it's peak like window. Dive through the glass. <laughs> the door. There is a door right in front of you. Right oh. next to the door, please. Just break through the glass. <laughs> Um, can I like try to crack the door and slowly like crack it open? Okay, so you open the door and you kind of like peeking around. What what you gonna do? This one right here. Can you see me? Let me just uh. Oh, my, uh, uh, that one, that one. Yes, I see the yeah. ping. So, from the crack in the door, can I draw my short bow and <laughs> try to hit that one? <laughs> okay, so you, you draw your bow, kind of like crack the door open, like peek, a, just peeking a little bit. And you definitely got sneak attack damage for this one and advantage. So, uh, roll to hit. So, my short bow doesn't have any information on it. Uh, a short bow will do a d6 plus uh, your dexterity mod. I mean, someone okay. might correct me on that. It might be a d8. I think short bows are a d6. Oh, yeah, it has a d6 plus two piercing. Yep. Plus two piercing plus dex? Uh, yes. The plus two is your dex. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. But you get to add another d6 to that for sneak attack. Okay. Shortbow is what, like 60, 120, right? Yeah, she's definitely in range. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to add that on here. Oh, was I supposed to roll the hit? Uh, yeah, you gotta roll the hit first. That, so it's going to be 2d20, you take the higher roll. Oh, okay. Oh, oh well, we got a 19. <laughs> yeah, okay. 19 I, I would say that 21 hits, yes. <laughs> roll for damage. Forgot that six. So, d6 plus two. 2d6 two plus two? Yeah. Yes. Plus a sneak attack damage. Well, that is the sneak attack, because the extra d6 is the sneak attack. Oh, right, right, right. Woohoo! So that's eight damage. This guy... Like, he's completely blindsided by this, and he's getting ready, like, he's in position, trying to, like, uh, kind of, like, get one up on Akisu, when all of a sudden, an arrow bursts right through his shoulder, and Arrowhead, like, pe like right through uh, the side of his chest of the shoulder, just like, what the? Ah! Ah! I'm just as surprised, and I'm, like, looking around. I like you dark that, that too. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely use your uh, your cunning action to hide. And then, like, he's just kind of, like, flailing around just a, a little bit, like, uh, 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 trying to reach around and pull it out. <coughs> and, yeah, you just, like, room. slip the door. Uh, actually, give me a, a stealth check with, dis with advantage. Okay. Because these guys have their backs turned to you. Like, basically, everyone has their back turned to you, actually. Yeah. 19 plus 10. You quietly shut the door and slip back inside. 29. <laughs> nice. All right. That was that was great. That, I really liked that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Next up. <laughs> Yes, we get. Okay, so the guy that's up on uh, on Caligore. So he's going to uh, make an attack, and I, I think your AC is higher than a nine, bud. So that's near me. He he tries, but it, it misses completely. Arm right. Sweet. I'm okay right now. Right there. Oh, it's beaver time. Okay. So here we go. Gotta pull up his sheet. Save this in character. <laughs> Bring it on, yeah. beaver. <laughs> he takes a. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So he tries to lunge forward with his with his massive incisors to try to like stick you. Oh. And misses completely cuz you know that disadvantage. And then he follows up with he he attempts to try to whip you with his tail and kind of like oh. a, ends up shoving some of his uh, buddies aside as he does so and that misses completely as well. Ooh. And I'm like, kind of like yeah, he's getting a little flustered. Looks, his, uh, his his guys that also get hit if I dodge the tail. Oh, you almost got me that time. Vice Captain, watch where you're swinging that thing. <laughs> Shut up! Know your place. Mm. Next is Akisu. What's the word, hey. Captain? McReady, your turn comes. Did that just say McReady? 
<laughs> I think it did. Are you Mick ready? Fucking allergies are kicking my ass, bro. I know I'm dying. Don't do that. It's bad for your health. <laughs> I know. It seems pretty healthy. I-, I looked it up online. Dying is, in fact, bad for your health. You have to look it up. <laughs> I may be dying, but Tonga's fine. <laughs> Tonga's thriving. <laughs> He's living his best life out here. In the heat of combat. <laughs> Gonna be the next warlord of the sea. All right, so what you do, Akisu? Definitely looks the part. What you do, Akisu? Hold on, my fucking thing's being weird. Why? So the guy directly in front of you has it looks really weak after taking a arrow to the shoulder and the the guy to your right is good to go. Hmm. Can I just can I just like stomp around and just like smash him? <laughs> <coughs> Let, like a li- well, well you're uh hunt someone <laughs> you could try to give him a shove you know you know what i want to do i want to hunt one of them but i want to aim it towards like all these other dudes over here so like i want to play soccer or bowling with these people uh <laughs> let's see i'd say that you would you have better odds on the one directly in front of you yeah that makes sense <laughs> I mean, I could move if I really wanted to. You would, you would get opportunity attacks for leaving melee range. Oh, I see. So yeah, I'll just kick the one in front of me. Yeah. So since you're just trying to... That kick's basically a shove action, uh, we'll count that as a bonus action, because I've been playing too much Baldur's Gate, and I kind of like <laughs> shoves being bonus actions. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I, I, I just love that mechanically. Even if it goes both ways. So yeah, I will fucking hunt that motherfucker towards okay. all the other dudes. Make an athletics check. <coughs> With advantage given your size. Wow. wow. Okay, well, what's the <laughs> what's your bonus? Four. She has 16. Yeah, 16. Okay, so... He uh, he tries to block it, but as he as he does, like he just kind of gets like hooked up on your foot, and you just fling him uh along. <laughs> uh, what's your uh? Let's see, what's your score again for your strength? Sixteen. Yeah. Okay, you send him flying about ten feet back, and he just kind of like rolls and like the. The arrow just kind of gets uh, jolted, and you just hear like a loud cry out of pain. It's like, ah! ah! <laughs> and he, he just kind of like rolls over and just like, uh, and just passes out. <laughs> Falls unconscious? Yes. Nice. The, the, nice. the sudden what being the kicked <laughs> while, uh, and thrown around with an arrow through his arm. One down. I'm gonna look what over. Happened? Nice job, Captain. As the guy tumbles to the ground. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this one out of the initiative. Okay, there it is. Uh, there we go, Jesus. Okay, so right now I have my slingshot out. Yes. Would taking my dagger out be an action? Um, I'd say pulling out your dagger is a free action. Because that's right, a cool. so gonna... item. Like, that's a, you know, grabbing an item that you have at the ready. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. It says, so my in, in my inventory it says daggers, so I'm assuming it's two daggers. Yeah, you, you have a few of them. 
So I'm gonna pull out two, one for each hand, and just attack the guy next to me. Uh, let's see. I I don't think you, you do have your slingshot. And it's kind of like a giant slingshot. It's so like a staffy type thing. So yeah. I, I'll say that you can put one dagger in your off hand. Okay, that's fine. I'll I'll put one dagger in my other hand and just swipe at him. All right. So you're just going to hit him up, uh, roll to hit. I'm surprised you didn't try to... Oh, that, that definitely hits. I'm surprised you didn't try to get him with the uh, giant uh, sling uh, shot, just kind of like a, like, a, <laughs> like a quarter staff. But, or, no, no, I kind of wanted to use my daggers. All right, all right. So you kind of like you kick uh, this one guy, and you kind of like whip around, and you, grabbing the dagger from your belt, and just plant it firmly in his chest. For uh, how much damage you got rolling for that? That's a D four plus two. Good stab. Sorry, Captain Akasu, shank you very much. The fuck is that? Oh, it's a one. So that... Three damage. Thank you. You you stab him in the upper part of the chest, so it's avoided any vital spots, but it hurts. And you just kind of do. Do you leave it there, or you pull it out? I pull it out. Please. Uh, you, you see uh, a you, you see a trickle of blood uh, coming down from uh, the edge of his cowl. Kind of like grits his teeth a little bit. It's like and starts with a low growl towards you, like. Ugh. <laughs> all right i'll just i just look at him and i say i'll do what i did to your friend oh it's his turn now <laughs> oh shit <laughs> okay he's going for the claw attack oh yeah that's a five yeah my armor is 12 yeah, he, he goes for it, but like uh, he feels like that little twinge from the stab in the shoulder and just kind of like goes like way off the mark with his claw attack and like it's like a swipe in the air, but like it doesn't it doesn't even come close. <laughs> it's like, Is that all you got? Yeah, like he swipes in front of you and you're just like, excuse me. Like and then he little, proceeds little to he, he looks at uh, over to his uh, friend that got uh, uh, kicked over and he's like okay I gotta get, get away from here and then he tries to turn and run and that provokes an attack of opportunity by me? yes yeah. so roll to hit I'm gonna aim with my slingshot dog <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna give him the bonk? yeah I'm gonna yeah. give him the bonk you like let him run away Pull your slingshot. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Roll the bonk. Damn. Uh, what's your bonus? Uh, uh, where do I just see that? A uh, twelve total. Yeah, that yeah. checks out. That hits. Oh, I already added. Cool. Do I roll for damage now? Yes. What was it? What do I roll? D eight. Yep. This will be bludgeoning. D eight plus your strength. Six. Plus my strength. Uh, be ten. Okay. Uh, yeah. As as he tries to get away, you. How do you do this? Uh. So. I'd be like, I, 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 okay, so he starts to run away. I say, where are you going? And I, like, put my dagger away. I put, I load up my slingshot, just take aim as he's running away. <laughs> All right. And I head. Boom, headshot. It, you hear, like, a <laughs> sickening crack as given the, this is point blank, and he's uh, trying to turn tail. It's just, and you kind of, like, see the, uh, the, the the sling part of your slingshot just kind of like reverberate off his skull with the a piece Flap of ammo the still in the pouch. Oh my god. Yes. And 
he man. is out. He he's dead. Dead done. You're like a full rubber band slapped to his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Usopp rubber band of doom. It goes hard. Hey. I could see it. <laughs> yeah. Usopp I, I rubber band of doom. Too. Well, that moves the to Caligor. Here we go. Hey, with my flame blade in my hand, I am going to attack. All right. Roll to hit. I need to edit my dice. You have advantage because uh, Snyder's a little closer. Because so uh, roll again with an advantage. Yeah, you get to roll a second time because you have advantage. You take the higher of the two rolls. Sweet. That's not much better. <laughs> <laughs> but you. Yeah. You you kind of like a, give him a little flourish, like trying to scare him off a little bit, like whoosh, whoosh, and like you can like it kind of like singes his hair a little bit on his cowl, and he's just kind of like oh, reeling right. back. Anything else you want to do with your turn? Okay, so for my bonus action, I'm gonna use uh, hit Snyder with my bardic inspiration. And I will. And how do you inspire him? Um, Serenade him. Tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> this new ally of yours who has come to your aid. I inspire him with the. Um. What is it? Not co what's the? It's similar to confidence, but it's not that. You trying to give him like a pep talk? Pretty much, yeah. All right, what do you you're say, like, to Snyder? They must have amnesia because they don't know that you're him. <laughs> <laughs> I I like it. <laughs> I I almost I kind of like imagine you just like kind of like waving the flame sword around, kind of like whistling. Yeah. All right, and it's just as well because Snyder's next up in the turn order. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, Did it say Mick Ready? <laughs> Make ready. Make ready? Okay. <laughs> I like Mick ready better. That sounds so much <laughs> stupider and I love it. Me too. So the guy in front of us is still alive? Yes. Or at least conscious? Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> oh, tails all poofs and everything. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum tail poofs. <laughs> I'll go to sweep his feet. He's got to sweep the leg. Yeah, sweep him on the ground prone. Okay. <laughs> Roll to hit. And you that got advantage. Be... Just like my strength. Yeah, you, you roll your... Uh... Yeah, it... It'll basically be like a, uh... yeah, just, just uh, roll to hit. We'll see where we go from there, I guess. Okay. Uh, that would be for the spear. You got to show him that it's okay. You got to trip him up. He's got to show, he's got to show him that it's cool. You got to beat up the hand. Uh, that'd be advantage. Yep. Okay. Ice look cool. Yeah, they do look pretty sick. I like that. I like that everybody can customize them like that. 
yeah. custom dice makes it easier to tell who's rolling. Okay, True. so you do trip him up. Uh, roll for damage. Since you're uh, tripping him up and not spearing him, uh, have that be a d4 bludgeoning. Did he add the to make him prone or something? Did Snyder add the bardic inspiration die? Uh, he did, he didn't it need it, so he still has it for the next one he tries oh, to do. He didn't? Yeah, he didn't. He didn't end up needing it. He had advantage <laughs> and got a seventeen. Has it? He has it in it. Yeah, she is so scared. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, you take this guy out. Sweet. Oh, look at her tail. Yeah, no, she's really scared. Um, so then, because yeah, I know you got to. Like, where is she? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <coughs> so this dude gone. You don't let them know that that they're okay. Like, because now she's just gonna be like, "What's going on?" No, Olive's gonna be worried about us. You gotta let her. You gotta put her in there together. No. And no? then. Like a fight or something. Oh, yeah. I'll use my movement. Uh, let him fight the bear. To. <laughs> they gotta assert that dominance. Nothing to be afraid of. You think so? Yeah, yeah. But you gotta show them there's nothing to be afraid of, or they're just gonna be scared. Like. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. I'll move right there, and that'll be the end of my turn. Sounds good. Now we got uh, one of the guys that's ganging up on uh, Tonga. And he's going to try Play the bear. Stop it. <clears throat> yeah. So, once again, takes a swipe. No dice. Doesn't work. He's like, ah! Why can't we hit him? <laughs> it's amazing how... It's Tonga's turn. It's amazing how tanky you can be with Blur. I'm so glad. I got the, the skills for leveling up, and I was like... <laughs> Alright. So, I would like to... As a bonus action, I'm going to use Thunder and Smite. All right. I'm going to... I'm just I, curious, how I many uh, spell to... slots do you have? I have uh, five first level spell slots. Five. Well, six total. But... Really? And then my second level ones are like a once per day. That's interesting. Yeah. It's from... Uh... My devil fruit stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I never actually looked at the uh, progression of spells for the Devil Forge because I I know it was based loosely off of uh, how uh, Warlock works. So they they must have made some changes there. Yeah, so I got thunders. My I'll activate that on my weapon. Uh, you'll see like the. My light begins to trail up my blade. I I want to like I want to get behind this guy and I want to hit him like towards like, like I want to hit him like from behind and then use the thunder damage to like push him back. Hmm. Oh, Sam. I mean, I've, I've lived with cats like my whole life, so I, I'm pretty familiar with how it goes. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm going to go ahead and make my attack, I guess. Do I take opportunity attacks from moving out of uh, these guys of range? Uh, yes, you would. So you went this way around, so... Yeah, I went like, basically like spinning around him to kind of like turn him around. Okay, so you try to go through his uh, space in between them. Right, right. Because I want, like, I want their back to be to Akisu, right? Okay, so 
the guy that initially tried to attack you, uh, when he takes his uh, opportunity attack, he, as you're moving by, you actually trip him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he had a crit fail. Mm -hmm. This is so canonologically correct. All right. So All right. Roll to hit. Yep, roll to hit. <laughs> that hits. It's like a funny Jesus. <laughs> right, so I got damage plus yeah, the uh, ping that thunderous smite. smite to the chat. Not if they are a thought. What the fuck? What's going on in general? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been. I haven't been peeking at the Discord. I saw Shadow say "fuck your campaign," so I was just curious. Oh, the what? Maybe <laughs> it's been a while since I played with him. I think that's it's been nine a while since I've heard from him. Mm. And then they have a uh, saving for for the Thunder Smite. Okay. So this is for the big Beaver Man. Okay, Beaver Man has to make his saving throw. Yeah. Damn. So, you're. That's a. Yeah, he fails that. Okay. So I can thunderous so thunderous it's 2d6. A strength save. Yeah, even oh. with his uh, good strength, that's not enough. Hey, nice. And he, so he is knocked prone, knocked 10 feet away from me, and takes 7 points of thunder damage. Okay, so what's the total for damage? Uh, so 9 plus 7, 16. That is definitely the kind of damage you want to deal to a guy like this. Nice. Okay. So, I will knock him on his... Yeah, so because I'm using Thunder Smite, my blur drops the concentration and then, boom, hit him with that thing. There's... Okay, there. Make sure that works. Yeah, you send him sprawling. Yeah, you watch as like my form comes into focus as the the light moves to my weapons. Then I'm just like, say cheese, slap. <laughs> he, he spanked the beaver. I spanked the beaver. <laughs> Knock him on his ass. That is my round. Yeah, his face is just like eating dirt right now. Hey. I like Wait, that. Uh, where is where is Rory? Right. Rory is over by the uh, lighthouse over here. Over by the lighthouse. Over. Can you ping it? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to ping it here. Here. Oh, okay. I see. Right right can, I, can I make it to him? Or can I? I can see him from where I am. Yeah, you can see him. Okay, I'm just gonna look over to Rory and say, I'm "Coming for you, bud." And he seems unresponsive, but you can tell that he's still breathing. All right. Is this the, this guy, like, I don't know if you can see my pink right here. This guy, is he, like, standing guard over him? No, he just happened to be that far back. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to look over to that guy and say, you're next. He readies his gun. All right. Moving next in turn order, turn. we have Lackey, this guy, right next to Snyder. <laughs> Lackey, this guy. And does a 11 hit? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. So he's just like, Ugh, takes a swipe. And you're just kind of like, bob your head back, like, please. I'm a soldier. Why? 
I'm just trying to help this poor boy. Why must you swing on me? <laughs> Are you an old man? <laughs> <laughs> this one tries to come up to the side of you. And does a 15 hit? No. Oh, yeah, your AC is like 16. So, yeah, like, close. As he uh, goes for the swing, like, you just kind of, like, uh, catch it on uh, the side of your pole arm and just parry it. Fuck your campaign. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Fucking Sydney. God damn. Well, then. Oh, it, the the switch and cameras moved uh, Dakota into the uh, into the camera for the stream. <laughs> Congratulations, your DM now, bud. No oh, god. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, there. <laughs> Everything's back to normal. I have quelled the coup. He came in and fucked everything up. <laughs> All right. So the next one. It is your turn. This one is going to move in on <laughs> Snyder as well. They are rolling awful today. <laughs> Remind me not to use these dice for any character I like playing. <laughs> for anything that you want Don't to have done. Don't play the equipment. <laughs> Clearly, this man has not heard of dice ghosts. So he also takes a couple swings, but like... You are a trained soldier. You have dealt with astronomical odds in the past. These three trying to team up on you is nothing. <laughs> All right. This one kind of moves in trying to get behind Tonga. And misses. Rip. Is Blur still in effect? No. Well, he, he Blur missed. Blur drops when I use another smite. I, that's what I thought. So he misses organically then. Misses organically. Yeah. <laughs> All natural, not enough. All right. This. Oh, that's. This one. He moves in. And what's your AC? Mine? Yes. 14. Okay, so that just barely misses. So he comes right up in for a, a big attack and just kind of like uh, block it by like uh, smacking his arm away. <laughs> yeah. He like raises his weapon and slap it back to the ground. <laughs> Get just... that shit out of here, boy. <laughs> Damn, I, I thought this encounter would be a lot harder, but I didn't account on them all being so unbearably weak. There are a lot of them. Imagine if they were hitting. <laughs> that would be a lot of hits. True. That is true. That one was out of order. Okay. So where's this one? This one tries to rush over and help the beaver dude up. It's like, Vice Captain, get get up, come on! And he just like kind of reaches under, and just uh, uh, and he's like struggling under the like three hundred pounds of fat beaver man to like <laughs> get him on his feet, uh. and like a, through sheer like force of will. He has, like, managed to get this guy up to, like, one knee and then, like, helps him up. <laughs> kind of, like, half dusting him off, like, well, things aren't looking good. 
You could say that fucking again. <laughs> Why is he Australian? <laughs> he forgot his He's nationality uh, due to a mouthful of dirt. <laughs> Yeah, I hit him so hard he changed nationalities. Beavers are like a weird platypus. <laughs> he thought he was his cousin. <laughs> uh, all right, Chibi, it's your turn. Can I reach the captain from the cracked door, or can I only reach the? You could. You got enough movement to get there, and you also got enough range to get there. From the cracked door. Yeah. Okay. So I'll recrack the door a little bit. Do I need to roll? Yeah. Uh, make a stealth check. I would say let's try to leave at least the captain alive. Why? So we can question <laughs> him. And for ransom purposes. He's got a bounty, right? Does this, does this guy have a yeah, bounty? Yeah, isn't it like dead or alive, though? Yeah, mm. we might be able to talk to him. You know, he was trying to proposition us, right? So. This is true. He was trying that to solicit like... favors. Yeah, it was lackeys oh. assert dominance. We don't know if this is all his henchmen. If we just kill work him. for us now. <laughs> I don't want a beaver to work for us. <laughs> Beavers are surprisingly like powerful. Nah, I think I would shoot him. So I'm gonna yeah. shoot. I'm gonna try to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> I got a uh, fifteen. Yeah, God damn! What the hell? Okay. Oh, for yourself. Yeah, for the door. You got some nice like bonuses. And since you're, still, <laughs> since you're still, since you're still stealthed, uh, you'll be able to roll for advantage with your attack. Okay, so roll to hit now. Yep, roll to hit. Uh -oh. With advantage. <laughs> Yeah, they all have a passive of 10, so it wasn't really that hard to beat. Oof. She just wants the smoke. Okay. So that hits. 13 to hit? Okay. And then... Sue for so damages. Remind me again. It's a D 2d6 plus 2. Yep. It should come up when you click on your bow. If you click the I don't on have. Your bow, um, I added the stuff to your, your sheet. Oh. Nope. Uh, I gotta give you credit. As far as One Piece is concerned, there's very few bow users. Yeah, it's true. Did that work? Those are D20s. Uh, yeah, that's rolling. For that's what there. I. That's what happened when I click attack. Oh, oh well, so I roll damage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That'll be your D6. And that's a normal roll? Yeah. Yeah. We that's go. one. Okay, so one. Okay. That's so eight in total. Okay. So you're aiming for uh, the vice captain. The hooded one. Yes. All right. Do, do, do. He's uh, looking a little winded. As you kind of like uh, the, the arrow sails through the air and like it just clips right through his fur. <clears throat> Should I roll to shut the door again? Um, yeah, give me another. Uh, no, your your stealth check in initially was it's good for your turn. So you can like just quietly okay. pull it back in. All right. And now it's Beaver Man's turn. <laughs> and looking at the uh, situation uh, right here. He is absolutely livid with uh, Tonga right now. <laughs> Put him on his ass. Yeah, you spanked him like a bad little boy. Put his face <laughs> in the dirt. And then he moves up to here. And... Oh. Do I get opportunity attack? 
Nope, because that's still within five feet of you. Ah. Once he leaves that range, then you would get an opportunity attack. Well, oh, yeah, I guess you're right, because I did knock him out of melee range. <laughs> okay, I need you to make a... Uh, let me double check it real quick to see what the save is. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Still getting used to all of this. But Spielberg. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh, okay. All right. Well. So you uh, fail the save, and as he gets up right in front of you, uh, actually, uh, his his boys are going to have to make that save, too. Fail. Succeed. Fail. Crit fail. Okay. So he turns around, lifting his ass up in the air like some kind of weird sumo twerk. As you see, his tail li lift up. And this thing is like practically half the width of his body as is which is saying a lot for a 300 uh, pound beaver man and he slams it down with monstrous force and sending you flying 10 feet back as well as a couple of uh, his guys and you end up slamming into the dude that was right behind you here knocking him down Right the, the guy that's right next to him uh, was perfectly fine with that nat 20. Right. And you take... Is there any chance I can use a, a reaction for this uh, damage and save? Um, with, a, with a little bit of a shield? A shield as a spell wouldn't uh, protect against that kind of a, a spell. Fair enough, fair enough. Because uh, you're getting hit with the sheer force of the impact on the ground. Yeah, that makes sense. And that's going to be... Let me... Where'd I put it? D8. Ah, fine, I'll just roll in the chat thing. I forgot the kids bogarted my D8s. And... Roll. Seven. So you and the dudes next to you uh, each take seven damage. Okay. And then he proceeds to uh, make a run for the cliff. That's two off my temporary down to what? Thirteen? Okay. Yeah. Nice. And with that, he's going to, he kind of like leaps to his belly, almost like a penguin, and just tries to, to like slide a little bit further. You want to get away? Yes. Motherfucker. And oh, and I don't get opportunity attack. Ah. Get him. Yeah, get, get him. his ass. Is he the white square over there? No. No, he's what? down. What white square? Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> there, I deleted the white square. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, he's trying to escape. Yeah, he's he's trying to get make a getaway, and it is Akisu's turn now. How far away am I from the beaver dude? I'll shout that out to you since you're you're a little bit far. So he's trying to get away. Yeah, you're so, really far away. I know. Yeah. With that, he's seven, a break for it. that seven damage plus the knocking that other guy down. Those the two next to you are like really weak. <laughs> so how far away is he? Um, let's see. Oh wait, measuring tool. 
Yeah, this dude had nice. fucking movement. I was moving. Beaver. He flapped with his beaver too. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, isn't, the, isn't the measuring tool supposed to work differently? Maybe I clicked the wrong one. Or was he like here? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess that is how it works. Ah, shit. Oh, okay, you can toggle the, the measurement tool for different stuff, like area of effects and cones and stuff. He's 80 yeah. feet away. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah. No catch him? Chibi you said. She <laughs> could. Oh, yeah, so that's 80 feet. I didn't see uh, up close how uh, that works, but yeah. Uh -huh. I pressed I can, so I on the little like measurement control button, four tabs popped up, and there was one that looked like two arrows. And I oh, that. oh, yeah, that's a line. Okay, it gives you like a little tutorial thing that pops up on my end. Yeah. Okay, that's anyway. very useful. I like that. Um, that's technically outside of your range right now. I know. But you have movement. With, yeah. yeah. If I did dash, is that double? Mm -hmm. That's your action. That's your, your action. action. It, I know, but like, but you'll have I, uh, that's you enough movement to get him. close. You're not answering my question. What was the question? I have 40 movement speed. Yeah, that would if double. If I it. did dash, okay, so I would do 80, so I would get to him. Yes, you take a okay. couple attacks of opportunity if you go straight through that path. Actually, wait, no. The, those guys are all prone, so you'd only take one attack of opportunity as you come past the guy that succeeded. Oh, was I not prone? Yep. Oh, okay. Rip. <coughs> but she can literally just step you said, over you, you guys. You yeah. said my daggers were a bonus action, right? Or was that an action? Uh, the For an attack, that's an action. Um, okay. It's more of like a, a bonus action to like, I mean, a free action to just like a pull out a weapon. Um, okay. I think you could use your full movement and then get hit up with your sleigh. Yeah, yeah, but I have to, my full movement is only 40 feet. I can only get halfway there in order to get there. Yeah, but you only, you only need between 30 and oh, 60 Oh, true. Feet. You're so right. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll just use my regular movement to get 40 feet closer. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can literally just like you can come up like right uh, past Tonga and be able to hit him. I wish I had like a net. You should buy a net. I should. Special attack, net star. <laughs> that, that wouldn't be a bad yeah, idea. I, use, I know, right? It'd be very yeah, useful in this situation, and I can see it happening more than once. Mm. He's not running away unscathed. Yeah. Anyway, oh, so I'll, I'll right. move my 40 feet, and then I'll <laughs> do a sling attack on him. And he's marked, so I do double damage. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, sh <laughs> To everyone, or just you? Just, just the beaver guy. I marked him, so like I do an extra D6, I think. But you just yes. do extra damage? Oh, yeah, just yeah. me. Yeah, that's how Hunter's Mark works. Yeah. It's an extra D6. So I do yes. 1D8 and 1D6. All right, so roll to hit. Well, I'll move your token uh, up past Tonga. Uh, oh, I'm still measuring. Fuck. I don't want to measure. Oh, man. Yeah. I rolled bad. Rip. I got a six. Fuck, I'm stuck in the... <laughs> You'll have to move your token. I fucked up. <laughs> oh, wait. Token select. There we go. I done goof too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I forgot to click off the ruler and back to token select. 
Okay, so you try to take a shot, and this guy in front of you just tries to, like, dive in the way. It's like, no, not the vice captain! And it kind of, like, throws your shot off. And as the beaver man's running, like, it just, like, has, like, this small impact on the ground next to him. Kind of like startles him a little bit as he yeah, he continues to run. Next up, uh, Caligore. What you gonna do, Caligore? <laughs> Yo, ring, Caligore. Can you hear us? Right now, the only thing I hear is my wife snoring in the background. Oh, maybe reconnect. Hey, can you hear us now? There we go. Oh, this laptop. All right, so that's solved. I am going to throw this laptop. That's what's going to happen. Okay. Roll to hit. <laughs> See, D do you have Tavern Brawler for improvised I'm laptop throwing? Here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick up my rapier and move to the guy just above Snyder. All right, all right. Get advantage on any attacks against this go, this guy, this go. <laughs> And, <laughs> and then I, I attack him with a stab chest. I will do attack on that, right? Yeah, uh, roll to hit. <coughs> Uh, you you go to uh, hit him, but since this isn't like your typical uh, sword, you, as you miss, you end up lighting the grass uh, near him on fire. And it, the grass is kind of dry, so it starts to spread a little bit. Oh, Jesus. And you're just like, oh, um, uh, yeah. Uh, anything else? That's what I wanted to do. Um, mm, nope. Um, that's uh, it for me. All right. Snyder, what you're going to do? It will be your turn next. <laughs> that always gives me a chuckle. Ah. I'm going to thrust my spear at the person that uh, Caligore just attacked. All right. Give you advantage on that one because the, the grass is flaming and Caligore's right there. Attack. Advantage. Okay. That's a hit. And then damage. A five. All right. And add, we're going to add an extra plus one to that from the flaming grass that's uh, becoming more and more of a problem because of Caligore. If he hasn't used that bardic inspiration, so another D6. He can hold on to that until you guys take a long rest, so he could use that for whatever he wants. Yeah. Oh, he's only got. He's, he only has it for 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes? I th okay, okay. Yeah, there's a time. That's good to know. Not for sure it was long rest. But, you know, I've, I've been corrupting my game knowledge with Baldur's Gate. 
<laughs> yeah. Um. Roll for damage. Then... Oh, I did the five. Okay. Yeah, th this guy oh, is I... just like. He's like, I want out of here. And I think that'll do it for the turn. All right. It's your turn. Well, the, the one that just got hit. He sees everything going on and he disengages, carefully taking a step back from both of you and starts to make a break for it. The captain's leaving. I'm out. Abandoned it all. Get his ass. <laughs> Tonga, it is your turn. I just want to book it after him. Full movement. Uh, you're going to use half your movement getting back up because you were prone. You're right. Okay, so 15 feet. How close will that get? Um, Three squares. Damn, so right in front of me. <laughs> Tragic. Right there? Yes. And how close, how, how far is he from me? Two, three, four, five. Okay, so he's about one, two, three, four, five, six. He's about 35 feet away. 40. Okay, okay. I'm going to hold out my my coast star, and I'm gonna move my light to the blade. I'm just gonna kind of like throw the light at him with a witch bolt. Okay, so you'll have disadvantage on uh, this because you got this dude right next to you. Yeah, it, you see a beam of crackling and we shoot out. Towards him. It does oh. go through, I believe. Mm hmm. Mm, roll to hit. <laughs> Looks like a 19. With disadvantage? Oh, with disadvantage? Wait, why disadvantage? Because you're trying to hit him with a guy right next to you. Next time, right? What? It's a rain. It was kind of cutting in and out of there. That shoots, oh, it's a it's a range spell attack that shoots a beam. So. Yes, but it's a still disadvantage to make a range spell attack with the a guy right next to you. Uh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. All right, that one's the same. <laughs> So you, you fire off, like, you glow and, like, kind of, like, channel all your, like, electromagnetic energy uh, of your fishman, like, kind of, like, your little bit of that electro eel heritage into, like, th this bolt. Yeah. But the, the guy right next to you uh, kind of, like, tries to tackle you and, like, pushes your hand and it goes flying off in the wrong direction. Ever hit him instead? No, it just like he put he pushes your arm as you're about to uh, send this uh, shot. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I won't let you. This guy's a problem. <laughs> I, don't, I can't use a reaction on that, huh? <laughs> on the reaction, as oh, on him, on him, me. <laughs> 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 mm. slap him with no, I didn't take damage. I no. didn't take damage. I'm just flavoring you missing, so uh, Yeah. Alright, alright. My action. Um is there anything else I can Oh, okay. Yeah, I wanna do I'll do this. 
I want to use my devil's branding. All right, all right. Um, I'm going to mark the captain and curse him with a brand. Ah, all right. Uh, I'll say even though like my beam goes wide, you see like some light drizzle onto him. Yeah, so like a, a little mark like some sparks kind of like a tremor off of that and just kind of like work their way over. Yeah. So he's cursed for one minute. Uh, any roll I take against the branded target, there's a crit on my character. Hmm. And that's it. All right. Moving on, we got. For you. <laughs> Let's see. You won't make it out of here. Uh, I see what I was doing wrong this entire time. Like, it, if I just zoom in a little bit better, it shows me which ones. Uh... Yeah, what the fuck? You're coming out of the door. This guy tries to <laughs> take a. He's taking a swing at Snyder, and that's a crit. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so Snyder, you take a total of nine damage. Jesus Christ. Ambiance. Huh? It's ambiance. <laughs> God damn. Did you guys notice the background of Sianna's camera? <laughs> I see. Yeah. Only, in, only until you said something. <laughs> She's got this uh, background of uh, some blonde uh, lady just like coming into the room, like, oh. That's so good. Because <laughs> uh, I'm the only one that can actually be seen on in the recording. So, oh. For, for all y'all that can't see that. <laughs> all right. So he does that. And then he tries to make a break for it. You you get an attack of opportunity on him. I see you dancing. <laughs> Snyder, you get uh, an. Who gets oh, I. Yes. Uh, that would just be with my spear. Ah. Yep. Damage. Uh, uh. Did you roll to hit? Oh, shit. No. <laughs> uh. Oh, come on. You got this. Oh, like a 50 TV first. It. I have to look. <laughs> uh, advantage, disadvantage, or just normal? Normal. Okay. That hits. Roll for damage. Uh, re-roll for damage? There. Yeah. Okay. We'll use a fresh roll. All right. The better roll. <clears throat> Get that full six damage. <laughs> Plus your mod... Your modifier. I, I don't know what your modifier is. I'll be right back. Uh, uh, where would that be? Uh, do you use your strength or your... Yeah, it'd be a spear, so it's your strength. Oh, that'd be a plus two, so... <laughs> okay, so that's eight damage to him. Yeah, he, this guy's low, low. And he tries to get a little further away. This is the other one that's right in front of you. Hold and, on, isn't the captain, like, the way he's running, like, is there any, even, like, a way to go that way? Or is he going to eat himself off the cliff? Like, with this one? We'll have to find out. find out. 
All right, I guess. This is something that you find kind of puzzling because as far as you know, off that cliff is water. And right. you know devil fruit users can't swim. Oh yeah, true. What up? All right. So this one is going to swing at Snyder and he misses. <coughs> And also makes a break for it, but since you already used your reaction, he's good to go. It is your turn. <laughs> Oliver's just right here. Uh, this one uses the help action to get his buddy... Well, he, he gets up using oh. half his movement, the help action to get his buddy back up, and pursue, proceeds to go this way. It is your turn. Tactical retreat, boys. This yeah, one didn't go as he moves up this way and takes a shot at uh, Caligor. And that hits. For a grand total of three damage. Devastating. Yes, very much so. It is your turn. <laughs> I gotta stop with that. This one is going to take a shot at Akasu in the same way and run for it. Uh, what's your AC again? Well, yeah, that misses. Nice. And he's too frantic to get out of there. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> This one is also going to shoot at Akisu and run. And that's a crit. So, let's see. You take 11 damage. Who? Uh, you. You. I thought you said he missed. No, the first one. the first oh. one missed. The second one got a crit. God damn. All right. So as he's running away, he he just blindly uh, points his gun behind his head it, as he's running and just uh, fires off a shot and just pure luck. And it just like manages to get you like kind of like a scathing right off the gut. You're like, <laughs> and just like, what the fuck? I'm shot. Next is Chibi. Okay. What you gonna do, How Chibi? How far away is he from me? The one that, uh, the guy that's running a, the beaver man or the uh, guy that I'm shot? About 50 feet. How do you measure? You gotta press the little roller button and then the um, two arrow buttons. Whoa. The two arrow? The oh, ruler I... under the uh, token. No. Well, that's this cool. One? And then click them? Oh, okay. 58. 57. 57. Okay. So within shooting range. <laughs> how, do I, how do I go about... I see. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah you, so you, I'm going to come out of the door. You have a bonus action uh, dash. You can straight jump this dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Use your then, electricity. Oh, oh yeah, she's got electro. Yeah, you're right. I probably should. Um, hold on a second. <laughs> when she comes out of the door, I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that she was in there because the passive perception. <laughs> is yeah. Is he wearing armor made of metal? No. 
Okay. It's all fur. And some clothes. Oh, oh natural. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do the lightning damage. Okay, shock and grasp. Roll to hit. Get that electro. Doom, brother. That hits. Fifteen. Roll for damage. All right. I know that's a D eight. Six. Plus stuff. Plus what? Oh, uh, your electro damage, your melee attack damage. I don't know where to find that. It'll be uh, your claws plus whatever your modifier for your electro is. Yes. Um. We'll get more used to this as we get more combats in. Cool. Uh, I feel like you have this one. Pop that cat. Then uh, you have this one. Oh, that's for climbing. Oh, okay. You can choose to do slashes for your unarmed strikes. Yeah. The unarmed strike damage die becomes a minimum of D6. Yeah, I don't know what your die for. It's a D8. But oh, as okay. as she levels up, it will uh, scale. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, so it's just <coughs> grass and Okay, I see. So you would just cast Shock and Grass. Yeah, so that's a yeah. D8. And that was a 6. So a 6. You just kind of, like, reach out and, like, kind of, like, rev yourself up for this taser touch. And, like, as you do, like, you feel this pulse of electricity surge into him. But as you do, like, you kind of touch his fur and it feels oily. Oh. Mm -hmm. You haven't met very many minks that have an oily fur. I knew you could do it, man. I'm so proud of you. So th this seems very odd to you. What just happened? Zay beat the boss. You've been trying to fight for two days. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, so, would that, you like, in my brain... That in my brain mean that he could be like an actual animal and not. Oh, uh, you know what? He has uh, thunder uh, let's see. Make a uh, either a nature or a survival check. Okay. Uh, got the tails left. With it, with advantage because you know you're a mink. You know a lot about these things. Because I'm a mink. Yeah. Okay, I'll do survival. Seven survival. All you know is that this is weird. Okay. As far as you're concerned, like it's unusual. What for him to have resistance to lightning? No, like no, a uh, oily fur. Uh, oily, unnatural oiliness. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. For an animal. Right. And moving into M Mr. Beaverman's turn. We never caught his name. It's your turn. Is he still alive? He's good? Beaver. Oh. He is. So Interesting. he's going to move out of your range. And he's going to disengage. Because there's not, oh, that, not much further for him to go. Rogue. No, you can disengage. What does that as, mean? You can disengage as a uh, regular action. Uh, disengaging basically okay. means you can move out of range of a uh, creature without provoking an attack of opportunity. As a rogue, you can okay. disengage without provoke without using. Uh, as a rogue, you can use your bonus action to disengage, but for everybody else, okay. like this guy, they have to use their main action to do it. Oh, I okay. see. I see. He uh, gets up to the edge of the cliff, looks down, turns around, and he, he proclaims loudly to all of you, I'd rather die than fall to you. And then he leaps off the edge. Interesting. 
I, I just that's crazy because I, I knew I should have grappled him. He catches us. I think I won't jump in that water. <laughs> 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 what happens when devil for users go into water? They just drown. Under they normal circumstances, yes, it, it weakens uh, their powers. They can't, swim, so. they, they yeah. can't swim. Yeah, they can't swim, but they're not like gonna melt in water, right? Say, say if Tonga were to eat a devil fruit, he yeah. wouldn't necessarily drown. He'd just sink to the bottom of the ocean, still yeah. breathing yeah. as a fish man. Oh, you unable to move. That makes sense. But a normal person, which would actually drown. does happen yeah. in the uh, in the anime, it does, yeah. does happen to somebody. Yeah, there's Wait, like one who? or two fishmen that have devil fruits, and it's like the worst thing for them because being imagine not being able to go outside your house for a walk because right, like the yeah. air immobilizes you, or like being a pirate on a the head of a ship and just getting knocked in the water and being like, oh well, fuck. <laughs> Just become a statue. Pretty much. Yeah, like I, I think for like the split second uh, when you first enter water, you can struggle uh, for a moment. But like, that's once uh, the water takes hold, it's just you're done. All right. Well, I imagine we'll have what like two or three rounds before he hits the water. Uh, falling speed in D and D, like you move about like five hundred feet around. Oh, oh damn! Jesus. Falling is very fast. It it really is. Yeah. Well, it's uh, either five hundred so or two hundred and fifty. I forget. I, I'm gonna assume this man. Either some way, good, some some decent constitution. It isn't gonna drown immediately. <laughs> that beaver body and all. Exactly Ooh. right. Okay, it's Akisu. Maybe with all them oils, it flows. It's like leap off, or like, ah, oh, shit. It'll just skip off the water. Yeah. It's hard to say. Uh, decisions, decisions. No. I mean, I can put you in my slingshot. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> there is someone uh, that you could put in the slingshot, Darius. <laughs> but Darius isn't anywhere close to you right now. Could, could I throw? <laughs> him into his ass. Could you shoot Darius at somebody? Yes, you could. No, 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 no. I'm asking if I can throw Tango. Uh. Physically. Tonga, how much you weigh? Mentally. Uh, I believe 290. God damn. Uh, you can pick him up. You can throw him, but you can't throw him very far. Yeah, I'm Ten years to catch of the day. <laughs> and moving me would be half your movement. So, what just happened? All right, listen. <laughs> I'm going to take care of the guy in front of me. Yeah, yeah, get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> so it, I'm leaving it up to you two to get rid of Beaver guy, guy. or catch him or something. Yeah. He's fucking. How? What's the movement speed on this motherfucker? Because he can go problems. far. He's we'll at forty. We'll Probably forty, because mine's forty. Yeah. Am I able to do my full right. movement, but like grab this dude on the way there? <laughs> you just want to pick him up. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to pick him up. I'll say that it would be an action to kind of grapple and pick this dude up. But I like where you're going with it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to do. I want to move my full movement, but on my way to the full movement, I, I just pick him up. Yeah, so instead of provoking attack of opportunity, you're just dragging him along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's no dash action, but I love it. 
Do you think my hands are big enough to like cup them? <laughs> to what? Cup them? Excuse me. Uh, like no. I would say that's no different than LeBron than LeBron James being able to cup a six year old. <laughs> Can he? I, I I'm gonna say no. <laughs> okay. I, I don't exactly have it on good authority that LeBron uh, can't. Uh, <laughs> Cup a six year old in just his hand. Grab a child by their head. <laughs> um, I just, I just want to be close, just in case something happens. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't even know. Like even with my full movement and like my action and everything, I can't make it to the edge. So like, I can. Yeah, she you can. can. She can. Listen, listen. Can I grab Tango with extra? Um, you know what? You could. <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, if he you cooperates like <laughs> you mean if you I cooperate it, no if he cooperates oh, with you like, cooperate? oh, yeah okay. yeah I, listen i just don't say nothing i just start running and i just grab him and he's like whoa <laughs> Look, you would only be able to move me like 10 more feet maybe <laughs> maybe 15 because yeah, it's well, half your movement when you're carrying body. So it's like that's that's still good. Yeah, but it'll get you closer and so you can use your movement speed to get to him. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I'd say that you you don't have to use necessarily an action to uh pick him up. Because like he's not right. resisting you. Oh, okay. Uh, but since he's heavier, how far can I get once I have him? Let's see. As a you're half giant, so you have a larger than normal carry capacity. Yeah. Oh, damn, we really should have calculated this, but uh, <laughs> I've done similar calculations in the past, and I believe you should at least be able to move your normal uh, movement speed. Oh, word. word. Okay. Yeah, for because you have, uh, what is it, for the purposes of carrying things? It's like... Yeah, it oh, scales yeah. up when you go up a size class. Yeah, that's true. So I can go right, right, right there. Yeah. No, stop, stop it. it, Jesus. This would be about the same as uh, me running and just picking up a big child. He's like, "Come on, we're going." I'm sure you've done that before, personally. I personally throw children on a regular basis as a father of four. Sweet. It's hot chalky time. Again. <laughs> Again, you do provoke an attack of opportunity about. from uh, this dude back here, but all right. Oh yeah, okay, that is a lot closer. I mean, he yeah. does hit. You're welcome. But we're almost done. You know, this is a it, it's a chance for you to get Tonga up close. Can I just yeah, like stop? How him? how close uh, are we from the edge? You take three damage. All right. So, how far are we from the edge? Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. You're 30 feet from the edge. <coughs> oh, okay. All right. Full movement, I can leap uh, off the edge. How and probably far catch is he? Oh, wait. Listen, I know it's a cliff. Yeah. But it is like 60 feet away. Uh huh. No, me to the beaver man. Oh yeah, but he's oh. he's off the cliff, and you probably can't swim <laughs> as um, well as I can. I don't, I don't have a can swim, dog. The swim team is. I'm here. not asking to swim. I'm asking if I could take a shot. You you already moved your. He's over the edge. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> so he's he's. Under the clip, like you wouldn't be yeah, able to see. You, you, you don't even have like line of sight okay. right now. Yeah, okay. you have to have line of sight to shoot, take the shot. Okay. Yeah, you would have seen like his head, like whoop, over the edge. <laughs> yeah. You said you're never using the tail. Oh damn! What? What? I was talking to Zay. Oh. <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> Anyway, I'm done. Okay, so moving wait, on. Wait, no, I want to take a shot at the other guy. Well, 
Let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can do that. Wow. All right, cool. <laughs> A little sore about being shot at before. Yeah. That You're is... like, get another thing. That... <laughs> yeah, that's a 10. Okay. To hit. Uh... 10 total? Yeah. It misses, unfortunately, but just barely. Yeah. Like, it... what is this AC like 11 or some shit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like he, he's like, he, just like you see his eyes go wide as like it soars like an inch away from his nose. I'm just gonna say that's a warning for you. It, yeah, he's he's like okay. He looks at you, and you can see that mentally, this man's already checked out. He he's done. <laughs> yeah, he he already it, tried to take a blip for. His captain. And this is a loyal band. dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Caligor. You hear me? Yep, I hear you. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. I am going to move my character up to the five guys that are trying to escape. Oh, no. I think I know what happens next. They're in a perfect... <laughs> the perfect grouping doesn't exist. <laughs> Look at your hurting hands. Jesus Christ. And to kill. If he goes for the burning hands, we have a measurement tool. That's not. No. Damn it! Oh, diarrhea. <laughs> Cast the spell. I want to go that way. Strawberry milkshake. Why is it? Why is there a second one? Oh, I, I was trying to see if I could do it too, just so I for frame a reference. Oh. Uh, anyways, no, I'll be wait. able to. Yeah, you can get at least four of them. Yeah. So I'm going to Yeah. Oh. What did you just say? <laughs> I said a, there. I said a strawberry lemonade is when the girl was on her period. <laughs> she knows me. I don't know if you know, but we're playing D and D. This is such an important D and D lore. It, it's so pretty much sounds canon. Three D six. Yeah, yeah. Yes. This is canon. This is canon D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, what's your save, DC? The CC is... Because I can tell you, one definitely uh, fails, one definitely succeeds. Throw. Yeah, I know it's the dex, but what's the DC? Man, you see 10. It says that all the thing. Oh, is it 10? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, so one fails, the other three succeed, but uh, roll damage. So succeeding only takes half damage. That's still kind of big here. Two, six, and one, two. Okay. So four, seven. I gotta check some. But that's help. also fire damage. It is. So you kill one of them outright. The other three are very burned and running away. Good. I'm with their tail between their legs. And next it is Snyder. Hello. What do All Snyder? Right. <clears throat> I'm going to rotate in between uh these people right about here. 
Okay. And then I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. Oh, shit. You're about to end some people. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go for it. Because I, I know those guys are all definitely in the Thunder Wave. Oh, all all of them. Oh. <laughs> this is the Wombo Combo, people. So how does this... Th oh, you have dial shells. Fuck. Hey. I forgot you had shell? those. Oh, he has dials? Did he use one? Uh, this is from my spell slot. Yeah, but we're um, going to flavor that as uh, dials because... <laughs> You're a Sky Islander, uh, you got dials. True. Okay, yeah. So then You throw like a grenade. <laughs> it, essentially I just press a button and it it's a blast. Yeah. Big old blast of big shock wave. So roll like damage? The impact dial yes. Usopp. Yes. Very much like that. Or are they like three D eight? Two D eight. Two D eight. That the thunder wave is two D eight. Fail. What's your DC? Uh, saving throw is thirteen. So you can hide. <laughs> okay, so two succeed, three fail, and so that's three of them dead right out of the gate. Damn. Big hits. Oh, what's the uh, final total for... Oh, 13. Holy shit. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, this dial blast uh, takes all five of them out. Damn. Fuck you. Just deleted them. <laughs> we just hear a distant thunderous explosion. <laughs> I just yeah, saw thunder crack and a scream. Is Darius okay? <laughs> <laughs> Darius is still My good. Boy. Um, I'd hate to be the guy that's stuck in between me and Tider. <laughs> just <laughs> just watching <laughs> his friend. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> Vaporized like in fucking terminator <laughs> honestly and moving Rusty's up like in turn order it laugh. is uh it is tonga now all right i'm gonna sheath my weapons i'm taking off at a full sprint off the cliff stows the weapons goes you run full tilt towards this cliff full leap off <laughs> So I believe it's 30 feet. I have movement of 40. Oh, no, I have moved full. Okay, so that's my full movement. And then I'm off. And then you jump it. Yeah. All right. So you... you... Um, let's see. Uh, make an acrobatics check. Okay. <laughs> uh, four. Okay, so... You're going to take a, a single point of uh, bludgeoning damage as you hit the surface of the water. Oh, shit. That's fine. Damn, he literally, like, off the cliff. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. guys hear a slap. <laughs> You're used to being under the water, not diving into it from heights. That's fair. All right, on a quick, I mean, can I can I look around? Do I? Yeah, make a perception check. <coughs> can I have advantage for various reasons? I'd say that it would just be a normal check, seeing as for anyone else, it would be a disadvantage underwater. But he is also branded. By this, my okay. thing. Oh, well, wait, hold on. Uh, I would also know if he if he dies or goes unconscious. So is he alive? You can sense that he's still alive. Okay. Okay. 
I don't get like hints on direction or anything unless he's in like line of sight. No, you, you can't Not see him bad. right off, but we'll we'll make a perception check. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fair point. Let's see here. Bro. Looks like a fifteen plus one plus two, so seventeen. You can see that closer, uh, further down in the water, uh, on the side of the rocks, there's something strange. And then upon closer inspection, yeah, that, that's him. You, you see like a, it, he's trying to camouflage himself. If you didn't have such keen underwater uh, sight, uh, you would have missed it. Okay. All right. But uh, how how far? About forty feet. Okay. Is he is he like in the water or is he like perched up on a rock? He's under the water. Okay. Okay. Just check it. All right. But I got a line of sight. He's at forty feet. All right. Do do the snails work in the water? That's a very <laughs> his uh. They're snails. Don't, aren't oh. snails underwater creatures? <gasps> mm. I mean, yeah, I would think. I would think mine, especially too, is probably it. adapted to water. Hmm. I'm going to say yes, only because they are. They, they are snails, and in One Piece, most of the world is covered in water, so it makes no sense that transponder snails would Fair. not be semi aquatic. Point. Okay. So they're, they're that to, common. They uh, they have to be semi aquatic. So okay. Is using one an action or a bonus action? Uh let's say a uh bonus action. Oops. Okay. I use my action to double to, to use my full movement to get to him. Yes. And then I want to use my bonus action to pull out the transponder snail. Is he unconscious? Uh, you d you can't tell at this oh. distance. He, he's, okay, okay, okay. So I'll, I'll keep my distance a little bit. I'll get like like ten feet away. Well, you, you don't have the entirety of you. Only yeah, you used your you yeah, used yeah. a dash. So if yeah, I, yeah. If I use my action. Yeah, I can get about ten feet away. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. All right. Perfect. Uh, and then I want to just—I'll pull out my snail and I'll like stealthily have my eyes on him. Looks like he's trying to hide. I'll just see. Yeah, I'll relay that info. Okay. So when this uh, information is relayed, there will be one caveat. <laughs> yeah. When they. Yeah. Okay. I believe Akisu has the other transponder snail. Do I? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. You bought one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bought oh, one. Started the game. Like. <laughs> I remember that. That's been like a whole month. Yeah, it, it's, it's been crazy. a time. So. Yeah. Up yeah. top uh, with Akisu, that. Uh, you see Tonga just kind of dive right off, and a couple of seconds later, all you hear is a... Yeah. Pick it up. Collect. Collect. <laughs> now, you, you do Tango, hear Tonga. But as he speaks, it sounds garbled, like he's underwater. <laughs> Can I understand it? You know what? Uh, fuck. Make an intelligence. It, either a uh, either a per wisdom or intelligence check. It, your choice. I'll do wisdom. All right. Is that a one? That's a no, 20. That 20. No, that 20. Holy. That's a so you listen carefully and like you've kind of gotten a gist of like how this guy operates. So even the parts <laughs> that seem a little garbled, you like you're listening intently. Like you get it. What did he say again? 
I said, uh, I got eyes on him. We're about 10 feet away. He looks to be trying to camouflage himself. All right. And <laughs> so with the following turns, the rest of these guys uh, just make their escape full tilt dash actions out. Oh. And with that, we're going to end it right there. Hey. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this feels like a hunter becomes a hunted situation. Because they were waiting for us, had this whole plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah? Think you won't get away? Won't eat myself off this cliff? <laughs> <laughs> Think I'm not Don't crazy. think I won't throw you off this shit. <laughs> yeah. So with that, I'll end combat because those two ran off. This guy's like trying to hide in the water. Like, yeah, that, me and him are like isolated now, right? <laughs> yeah, you two are isolated. Uh, if that turns into a combat next session, whether it turns into a chase scene or a combat, we'll we'll see where that goes. <laughs> <Chase scene>. <laughs> <laughs> but till next time. This has well, been uh, One Piece D and D Dungeons and Devil Fruits. Been a, been a great session. Hell yeah! Well done, well done. Hell yeah! We we'll look forward to. It's going to be another two oh, weeks because we like to do it nice biweekly. Fuck, am I? <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. Have a great week. I don't blame those last two guys for running. They just saw me. <laughs> <laughs>